you buy in the store comes with a free feature. It's this little hole right here. Um, absolutely free in every single bottle. And what you do is you turn that at yourself and then you push down. You don't do this. Uh, I'm walking in. Mm -hmm. No, it's all over your bathroom floor. And <laughs> your bath, like, have dinner parties in there. $500 all over your bathroom floor? Like, have events in there. Okay, so we are at, where are we? <laughs> Crate and Barrel outlet, mm -hmm. outlet. I'm going to see if I can find some stuff for my office and I'll bring you guys along. Hey, all stars. So I don't even know if I should have really deemed this as an outfit of the day because I'm going to pick up um, some storage units for my office. I'm going to bring you guys back and share kind of like what I've been doing and all of that. Um, but yes, I'm just going to pick up the more containers for my sneakers. And this is what I'm wearing. So I don't know if this is necessarily an outfit. That, well, it is the outfit now. The reason why I say that because my PJs are under this. <laughs> but, you know, we do what we gotta do. And it's cold outside. So I'm wearing this Canada Goose jacket. I've shared this in a vlog. The brand said, gifted it to me. I love it. I'm a huge fan of Canada Goose. Sold the coats for many years. Um, have my very first, I still have my first Canada Goose jacket, which is well over 20 years old. Um, but yeah, so I was very happy when they sent this. Anywho, hat is old, Reebok, my hair is like wrapped under it. Then I'm wearing my Isabelle Marant glasses because I have absolutely no makeup on. Wearing my Fendi Peekaboo I See You. Um, just because that's, all my stuff is in there right now and it's a comfortable crossbody. Then my Philip Lim um, Chelsea boots because they're comfortable and it's cold outside. And this is my look, and I got my trusty Tesla mug. Um, if you have a Tesla, you can buy these in the Tesla app store. I love them. I have a few of them, but I use only this one. But yeah, this is what we're doing. And then I guess when I get back, um, I'm going to finish cleaning up my space. It's definitely coming together really well, but I still have a whole bunch of stuff there, papers that I have to fix. And then so far, this is what I have. I think I might still switch some things up. But yeah, oh, I can't wait to share this outfit. I'm doing another collaboration with Michael Kors. So that's going to be really fun. But anywho, yeah, this is where we're at so far. It's coming together really well. But yeah, let's go to the container store. Okay, so I just picked up the boxes uh, for my shoe boxes. I did a little looking around the store, but in fairness, like, I have no business shopping. Like, I don't need anything else. Um, I wanted to pick up some more decor pieces, but I've got a lot of stuff. I might go into Crate and Barrel since I'm at the Avalon and there's a Crate and Barrel here as well. So I might just go over. If I can find parking, I will park and go inside. If not, then I'm going straight home. But yeah, got the shoe boxes, getting ready to organize. Yay. Hey, all stars. Uh, so <laughs> I know you're like, what is she doing in the car with her hair half done? So I am getting ready to get my hair done. Um, I'm a little early. My appointment was originally at 4.30, but it had to be pushed back to 5. So I'm a little early. And I had cornrows in before because um, I've it was wig week, basically. So now I'm just taking the cornrows out. I'm almost done. And then we're going to, you know, get my hair washed and styled for a photo shoot tomorrow. So very excited about tomorrow's photo shoot. I did my lashes. I hope there's enough light. Okay, there's more light here. So my lashes were still good because I got them done about a little less than two weeks ago. But because of the shoot, I wanted them to look a little fuller. And then my nails were chipping, so we redid my nails. She just put like a little quote over them because I'm going back in again in like a week and a half to um, get it done again before fashion week. So yeah, I think I'm going to do cornrows for fashion week. I wanted to, I first of all was going to like just have my hair and rock the wig. 
But then the more I thought about it, light's better here. <laughs> the more I thought about it, I'm like, do I really want to have to deal with my hair? And you already know that's a that's a no for me. I'm so paranoid with my own hair and just how it, you know, it because it's not full. So it's I'm still just getting used to having my hair out straight. Um, so I figured, you know what, I know myself, I will be playing with it all day long, unless I have like a sh shitload of hairspray that makes sure it stays in one place. So I don't want to have to bother or think about my hair. And I don't want my hair to be so stiff that it's not moving. So I figured, you know what, cornrows could be something fun and different that I've never done for fashion week. Plus it'll make my outfits look a little edgier. So that's probably what I'm going to do. But yeah, took out the hair watching um what is this oh watching my vlog my last vlog about how i ruined my kelly if you guys haven't seen it make sure you check it out yeah and i'm just gonna watch my videos until it's time for me to go in lisa's here lisa does my hair of course i forgot and then all of a sudden i was just like <laughs> snapper jacks i'm supposed to be vlogging so we've already what did we do we shampooed clarified okay. it Got any buildup off of it. And okay. then I um, made a cocktail of proteins, two proteins and a moisturizer. And I applied it on, um, layered it on so that each strand could benefit from it. And then we steamed it for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then when the steam goes up, I like it to cool down so the cuticle can close down. It's not wide open. Okay. Then I trim with, I mean, I rinse with cool water okay. again, close the cuticle. Um, and uh, uh, soothe the scalp so the scalp isn't irritated. And we're about to, I'm about to apply another cocktail, a serum, and a frizz, uh, frizz control product from uh, Olius Seta. Again, it's from Barrett's, um, Italy. And I like, I like universal products because I'm, I'm, I'm handling the hair, not the skin tone, but the texture of the hair. Your hair is soft, it's wavy. It could be anybody from there, Italian, African, uh, Greek, anybody all over the world. Mm -hmm. So that's why I like products that are universal, not just geared toward ethnicity because of the face. So don't get me wrong, we do have different textures, mm -hmm. but for the most part, we could, you could, we could, you know, you could dry this and mm -hmm. just go and go away, mm -hmm. as you can see. That's what the products. Okay. All right, thank you. Because I always used to wonder, like, when I would work with a lot of Caucasian based brands, mm -hmm. it, my hair was still fine. Yeah, absolutely. So I would wonder like why, because then I would try it on my daughter's hair and it was a disaster. Well, now let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. How was it applied? When you did use the Caucasian mm -hmm. based brands, did you have it done professionally? Or no, I did it myself. Okay. Yeah. Well, and your hair is fine. Yeah. And again, with my, my young people, with all that hair mm -hmm. they have, especially my teenagers, mm -hmm. I can't live without um, these two products right here. These are my go-to. Okay, whatever. And I know somebody's going to ask yeah. me what, what these are. This is the Oreo de Luce, mm -hmm. and this is the Oreo de Luce Cristal, um, mm -hmm. the Shine Serum. Okay. And this is the Heat Protection Cream Serum with silk proteins and linseeds. Okay, y'all see that? Yeah. Where can they find this? At, like, Target or something? No, no. <laughs> me. Okay, okay. 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 Or, I, you I will, can, or you can go to Barrett's. Okay, well, I'll... Type in B-A-R-E-X. B-A-R-E-X, okay. And I'm going to also get it on my website. On your website? Okay, there, there you go. I'll, 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 I'll link Lisa's website. Okay, okay. thank you. stars okay so i am about to go to indie house and they do fragrances they customize fragrances um and i'm also in an area i'm at um west side provisions in atlanta and there's a lot of home decor places here as well so i think i might look around a little bit i know i went to the crate and barrel warehouse i kind of brought you guys along um what else did i do 
I think that was it. Oh, I also went to West Elm and some other places, but I don't think I recorded that. Um, and everything I, uh, you know, everything else I've done, I've shared, but I'm going to see if I can find one or two accessories in terms of organization. I had so many things already at home, which I discovered. And then I also have, um, I also picked up some stuff from West Elm, picked up some stuff from Amazon. And when I get back home, I'm going to share that with you guys, as well as anything I might pick up or anything I find interesting. But I think this will be an interesting experience, so I'll bring you guys along for this fragrance thing. I think it should be fun. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. I, I'm a little early, that's why I'm chit-chatting a little bit in the car, but yeah, I can't wait to share um, the complete space. It's not 100% done because I still need to finish putting away like little like receipts and cards. I'm trying to figure out what to do with old business cards. A lot of people are still not even at these companies. I've had business cards for the last like 15 years. I'm like, people even use business cards still? Um, that and like little re receipts for the most part, I've gotten rid of most of the receipts, but just there's a few things that I actually need to like have action work with and I'm procrastinating because I hate doing that. Plus I have tons of mail that I need to check, but yeah, anywho. Let's go inside. Let me not go from being early to being late. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Well, I'm Carrie Hadley. I started Indie House in um, 2019 and then we weren't ready to open until 2020. So we opened in the middle of the pandemic, oh, wow. which was um, which was actually a blessing. I'm going to go on record and say that because it allowed me to fail small, right? So I tried things and they didn't work. And I tried other things and they didn't work. And I learned about where people are at as far as their understanding of fragrances. So you are not alone in not understanding. Like there's so much stuff out there like oh, this note and that note. You don't need to know the notes. Stop, stop. What brings you joy? What fills your soul? What makes you happy? What, what helps you communicate what you're trying to communicate about yourself? So like, this outfit needs a very different fragrance mm. than when I go to lunch with my girlfriend yes. and we're maybe going to go to the winery and I'm going to wear a, a twirly, maybe flowery, pinky yeah. kind of a dress. Yes. That's a different perfume than mm. this outfit. It's yeah. a different perfume than I go to a charity event and mm. I'm wearing a strapless dress and I've got my hair up and my fancy oh, earrings on. That's a different perfume. Mm -hmm. So people are not yeah. thinking about fragrance yes, yes. as an extension uh, of the message that they're sending. And they really need to. And that makes it so much easier to shop, by yes, the way. Yes, I agree. So, when you go into a tr traditional setting of a mm -hmm. mass produced product, mm -hmm. you start to smell all the things and you start to go, is it me or does it all smell exactly the same? Yes. And it kind of does because they are in the business of selling products. Yes. So if somebody yeah, has a hit I'm, over at this brand, mm -hmm. all the other brands are going to chase it because that's money that's going into that guy's pocket and not my pocket. So you wind up with a marketplace of things that all smell good and they're fine for most people. But there is a whole nother world and a whole nother layer of fragrance experience where you can discover what you like, things that you didn't even know existed. Because if you go back to the origins, this is an art form. So this is something that through the ages was created in small batches for individuals. And you can still find that in the European brands where you get people that are making something that they love and they're confident knowing that there's probably going to be some other people that love this, but not everybody has to love it. Mm. And that's really the true definition of niche is that little extra special thing that's different, mm -hmm. which I think everybody should be able to discover because mm -hmm. I don't, I mean, or, um, you in this out, yeah. oh my God, like this didn't just Thank fall you. out of your closet and where, you know, your fragrance it's should possibly, enhance yeah. that and, mm -hmm. and put you in that moment. Mm -hmm. So I can go for it. I love it. No, that was excellent. <laughs> I can go for Thank it for never, you. Ever. Thank you, Carrie. What this is, is a, what did you, what did you, what did you call this? I said, this is the, oh, what do you do? Um, like, it's a bad beat fragrance. Yes. I love this. Uh -huh. oh, wow. This is like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I spray wow. myself down. So that. it's what DG? DJF. It's a Korean brand called Born to Stand Out. Yes, oh. of and do you guys sell online? Yes. Okay, perfect. Good, good, good. Yeah. Okay, awesome. perfect. Because I know the I know, pick up no. things for the girls that don't live here. Because I know the girls no. are gonna want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so I got you. So 
So there is the retail shopping and I have identified a few brands that I love and own already here. So in addition to doing the retail shopping, they do create your own customized um, fragrances as well. I have that one, which I love as well. So yes, okay, we're gonna talk more about fragrances. Sorry guys. I found my new favorite fragrance, this number five from Mateo. Apparently it's from Barcelona. Yep. Yep. And it has a little bit of wood, of wood, so like a little bit of an amber, but it's light enough, right. it doesn't give me headaches, and I can't stop sniffing it. Like, it's so good. And I like this, these little sniffer thingies, they're so cool. <laughs> but this, I'm gonna see if I can find this. Well, I'll link it to your website, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. cause that one's amazing. Okay, are you showing me another one? Ooh, let's see, what is it, what is it? Okay, so this one is fun for- I feel like I have this. For gentlemen, Burning Barbershop? No, I don't have that. So this one, so this kind of goes to, um, this is David Seth Maltz mm -hmm. from DS and Jorga, he mm -hmm. and his wife. Um, oh, they did, yes, I have something from this brand. They sent yeah. me something. So they- Oh, interesting. Isn't that- so this is a little strong for me. It's it's when the Curling Brothers Barbershop mm. catches fire. So mm. in the top, you smell all this creamy lime, just like you would oh, in- interesting. And then as you keep smelling it, you start to smell the wood. I was gonna say, the, the wood came wood. out. I smelled the and burn. The, so, a great, Interesting. I wouldn't mind this on my husband. There you go. A great artistic fragrance should tell you what to should take you into its story. Mm. If that makes sense. And it that's, does. That's why that's one of my Interesting. favorites. Interesting. This. Let me see. What's that one? Is um, it's tea and carrot cake. Mm. Interesting. Tea and carrot cake. It's good. So it's delicious and it's yeah. flirty and it's fun, but if you don't know what, then that's why I don't love it when people get so involved in the notes. Because it's like, if you don't know what that is, your brain is going, what is that? What is that? What is that? I want to smell it again. I want to smell So people keep leaning into you because they want to smell it again. They want to know what that, See, this what is that that I'm smelling? It's not like anything I have, yeah. like so different. Carrie's the expert, Carrie's the owner of this amazing space. Tell us what we need to know about fragrances, like the most important things. So the one key thing that people ask us when they walk in the door is like, how do I make my fragrance last all day? Like, I want a fragrance to last all day. To which I usually respond, when you brush your teeth at seven o'clock this morning, did you still have fresh breath <laughs> at noon? Like you are a living human being. So the amount of body heat you're putting out, um, the other, you know, you sweat through your skin, that plays a lot into how long your fragrance is gonna last. Mm. Um, we smell things as they move through air. So the, the more heat that's coming off your skin that's hitting that fragrance, the faster you're gonna burn through it. Um, we do have some tips for wearing it, for getting a little more longevity. The first one is, every bottle that you buy in the store comes with a free feature. It's this little hole right here. Um, absolutely free in every single bottle. And what you do is you turn that at yourself and then you push down. You don't do this. Uh, I'm walking in. Mm -hmm. No, it's all over your bathroom floor. And <laughs> your bath, like, have dinner parties in there. $500 all over your bathroom floor? Like, have events in there. No, if you want it to actually last on you, you have to spray it on you. Mm. So spray it right on your skin. Ladies, the tops of your shoulders. You can spray wait, it Wait, wait, you have to say foot. why the top of your shoulders. When I see you, what do I do? Oh my God! Sniff. Uh, tops of shoulders. The ladies in Paris do that. Um, gentlemen spray it right on your chest because gentlemen tend to be a little taller than ladies and when they go to give a greeting to a lady, the face is right here. Mm -hmm. So ladies, tops of shoulders, gentlemen, chest. Um, you can put it on your pulse points to get a little more diffusion. Remember, heat is what's diffusing it. So spray it on and do this. If you start rubbing, that's friction. Friction is heat. Heat is getting rid of it. So you're spraying it on and getting rid of it right away. Mm -hmm. So just dab or just dry. Um, you can lightly spray hair. You don't need a special product. There is alcohol in this. If you have really dry hair, you can spray a brush and then bring the brush through your hair to let the alcohol burn off a little bit. Um, but getting the oil in your hair as you move, it diffuses. That's a, a cute hack. Um, you can lightly spray clothes, but I would not spray directly on that leather jacket because oil is where the fragrance is and that's going to stain. So anything you don't want to stain, be a little bit more careful, but you've got to spray it on yourself. That little hole needs to point at you. Um, and that's kind of, you know, and then know what you're buying. Understand the differences between the light, fresh fragrances and the heavy woody. If you're buying a parfum oud like this, 
You could wear this for two, two, three days if you don't shower. Um, this, this will go all the time. If you would do something really light and fresh and airy, you're going to get 30 minutes to an hour. Something that's citrus based is not going to last as long as something wood based. But we teach all this in our class. All right. So come take a class. Come see us. <laughs> hey, all stars. Okay, so I made it back home. And I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of what is going on in my office because I know <laughs> you guys saw the mess that it was in my OOTD series videos and whatnot. I'm almost finished. Actually, I think I might just finish the jewelry part and then share the full thing. So let me let me let me do some fixing of my jewelry because that's probably the only thing that's left. I have a call at four so I've got about yeah I've got about an hour to do that so yeah I'm gonna fix my jewelry because it's a mess right now um, and then after that the space I would say is pretty much done so I'm gonna do that I'll share a little bit of that me organizing with you and then I'll take you guys through like all the different sections, what I did, how I got organized in my other closets. Yeah, because it's gonna be fun. But can we have a moment for the perfume? Like I love when people are knowledgeable, when people know their stuff and Carrie knows her S, like she knows her shit. And it was just so nice having that conversation about perfume, learning so much. Um, I'm definitely gonna go and do a class with her and I'll probably do a giveaway so I can bring one or two of you guys along. I'm hoping that I can pick someone from YouTube, pick someone from Instagram and bring them along so we can learn about perfume, how to make the perfect perfume for you, how to discover different scents and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that because I'm definitely gonna share. All right, let's get organized. Okay, so this is where I keep a lot of the costume jewelry that I use in photo shoots. Ignore my nails right now. I'm getting them done tomorrow and they look disastrous right now. So I figure I need to have a system that works so I can identify what I have, especially now that I've been wearing a lot of um, jewelry. So I have pieces like this that were probably gifted by a brand that's tarnishing. I can get rid of that. This, I don't know why it's there. <laughs> um, gosh, this is from Tiffany's. Like, this is real Tiffany, but look at the way it's tarnished. I haven't touched this in years, so it just needs a good cleaning. Um, it's also tangled with other um, real gold pieces because um, my thin, most of these, well, the, these are all real, so I just need to clean them. I do have some cleaning solution that I got from Cartier. I kind of did this section already. So this is where I have like a lot of my long necklaces, um, chunkier things that won't fit on top. Pearls, you guys know I've been doing a lot of pearls lately. Um, I first of all arranged this like a few days ago so it's not as organized as I would have liked it to be because I'm using it but I also want it to be realistic. I'm all about organized chaos. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but I need to see what I have. And I feel like when I know what I have, I spend less and I allocate my money to the things that I actually need as opposed to the things that I thought I need. And that's the important thing. Stop buying the things you think you need and look at what you have. Organize it in a way where you can see what you have. That way you only buy the things you actually need and not the things that you think you need. Okay. So I'm discovering a lot of pearl, um, pearls that I didn't know were here. Um, I thought I didn't, I thought I couldn't find this one, but here it is. That's the longest um, strand of pearls I have. And I've got some shorter ones, some from Tabbots. This brown link is from Tabbots. I've got, I've got a few things here. I have my Givenchy necklace. I've got a few pieces there. And because I needed more space for glasses, I also have some glasses that I use the most. Um, here Be I'll show you guys what I've done with the rest of my glasses in a second but um, I just wanted to show the overflow then I've got some cuffs in here as well I hope you guys can see that yes I'm trying I have you guys on a tripod so but anywho this was the cleaner no this is um, I, um another brand sent me a cleaner but I do have some stuff from Cartier so I, I have cleaning stuff basically I, I should be using it so I'm gonna use it I'm looking at the viewfinder to see that you guys can see me but yeah let's let's get back to this but anywho yeah, so I'm just going to take everything out first and then determine what needs to what I need to keep and what I need to get rid of. Um, yeah, because there's just a whole bunch of stuff. There's no rhyme or rhythm to how I've been doing it, so I need to get it organized. So I need to have, like, 
like a system so that way it works for me and I know what I have and I'm not duplicating. Okay, so I successfully took everything out. Um, if you're wondering where I got these inserts, they are all customized. This whole unit in my closet was custom made for the space by my contractor. Um, so yes, there's nowhere that I can recommend to buy this, but I know Amazon has jewelry, like organization stuff that I can link for you guys. But I've taken everything out. Now I'm going to get a vacuum and just take out some of the dirt because there's like little dirt particles I noticed in here. Don't know why or how they got in here because I only put jewelry here, but they're in here. So I'm just going to vacuum and clean this out and then I'm going to start organizing. I'm As I'm talking to you guys, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to organize this stuff, whether I'm just going to have watches and um, earrings here. And then on the other side, because I have the same thing on the other side, and just do like statement earrings there. I'm not sure yet, but I'll figure it out in the, in the next couple of minutes. So, but yes, let's go get the vacuum. guys I'm done so I honestly just needed to take out some of the mess um, I arranged some of my like my stud earrings here and I have some rings here I'm wearing a lot of my rings so normally when I take them off I just like to dump them here and then I figured um, bracelets mixed metals more bracelets gold bracelets I have hoop earrings here I've got Actually, I wanted to keep, I need to reorganize that. So I wanted to keep like earrings on one side and then rings on the other side. So I wanted to try and keep it as, you know, organized and together as possible. So actually that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have more rings here and then I'll put my hoops here. Actually, I'll put my hoops closer. So hoops are with all the other earrings and then I'll put my brooches there got a few Chanel brooches there and then whenever I have more brooches I can easily put them in there as well and then also more earrings these are like just extra backs that I put inside um, a plastic bag extra backs safety pins stuff like that stars okay so I feel like I was sharing the drawer and then I think the battery died <laughs> but I am officially done I did a quick wipe down just because there's I don't know there's I don't know if it's just Atlanta because we change the vents pretty often and my cleaning ladies come in pretty often but I find that there's always dust and lint everywhere and it drives me insane so I did a quick dust down and yeah now I'm gonna share my space I'm so happy I'm so happy I feel so good now that I'm organized um and everything I did was very intentional and I'm gonna walk you guys through some of the things I did some of the tips that I'm going to now incorporate to ensure that I'm using all the things in my closet um, and just utilizing my space better. So I picked up some stuff from Amazon, like I think I mentioned before, um, some stuff from the container store. Um, who else did I? I picked up some decorative pieces from West Elm. I'm gonna share those with you as well. I utilized pieces that I had already. I think that Voss there, it was from either H&M or I don't really buy furniture from H&M, so I don't think it's H&M. Let me see. I have no idea, you know. 
Oh, West Elm, West Elm. Um, so yeah, like I, I just decided to, cause those were things that I had put away that were originally like, I think I purchased them for my house, but I was like, instead of buying all these new trinkets and new, you know, decorative accessories and whatnot, let me use the accessories that I've retired that I'm not necessarily using in the main house. Um, so yeah, I put everything to good use. Things can always be repurposed. So, you know, you can always add new decor, do, new decorative pieces to your home. But, you know, when the seasons change or if your aesthetic changes, I wouldn't say to get rid of them, especially if they're neutrals, you'll be surprised how you can repurpose them. Um, now I feel like my office feels like a showpiece. I feel very motivated being in this space. I'm getting ready to shoot another episode of... Um, uh, well, more of the updated version of Style for Success. I've been told not to call it Dress Like a Boss because it's just, you know, it, it encompasses so much. Um, but I still feel like it has a lot to do with Dress Like a Boss. But really, it's now the focus really going to just be Style for Success. So whether if that's in your everyday casual life, in your life in general, buying, making smart, smart purchases, all of that fun stuff, you know, and I'm going to be interviewing a lot of amazing people, a lot of people who work in the fashion industry, people who are in the corporate world but love dressing up, um, designers, um, other influencers, you know, just anyone who I feel like can help or offer tangible um, information or tangible tips that will help you guys and help me as well, that's who I'm going to be interviewing. So I'm very excited about that. But anywho, um, I'm going to walk you guys through, I'll give you a quick overview and as I share, I'll tell you what I did, what I changed and all that fun stuff. I was originally going to insert a before, I think I'll, I'll insert a little picture of the before. You guys remember what this office looked like and you remember what the bag wall looked like, but now it's just so much more organized. So I felt like I had too much going on with the bag wall. Um, I looked at some of my old videos of, you know, me just, you know, sharing my new in bags and all that fun stuff. And I really felt like there was just so much going on. It looked cluttered. Um, I don't need to prove to anybody that I have a whole bunch of bags. I really wanted to enter the space and feel like, wow, it's pretty, it's airy. And that's why I took down a lot of the bags before all the bags were, you know, arranged according to color. We got rid of all of that, all of that. So now color is still kind of a thing because you guys know I love color, but we kept it simple. You know, up there, I've got my Fendi first. It's a great piece, great display piece. And then that Voss is from West Elm. Um, it's just simple and clean up there. Then here we've got some of our, my black bags and of course my fun little silver um, Fendi micro baguette the Gucci bag, my Saint Laurent takeaway bag, which I feel like is a great display piece. But I also um, put beside those bags, this Jonathan Adler um, candle. I don't really burn it as much. Um, I've had it for a long time and I don't really burn it, but I love the Voss itself. So I figured that's a great display piece. I actually have the bigger version upstairs in my room. So I really love that whole face kind of um, display art that Jonathan Adler did. And then here we've got some of the Dior um, just lookbooks that I love to collect. And then I placed, I use that for, has a holder. So using books has like a stand or to add interest is always a great idea. So I use that as a display for um, my little Chanel wristlet. And then also my Bottega Structure Jody. I feel like these two pieces are like artwork, especially the Structure Jody. So I figured it would be a great display piece as well. And that's the thing, me select, the pieces that I selected on the wall are the bags that were the most creative, the bags that can stand up on their own. Notice there are no slouchy bags because slouchy bags don't display well. You always want to, if you want to display bags or shoes or pieces in your closet or as a display unit like this, you want to pick pieces that are interesting, great conversation pieces, draw the attention to the eye and they can hold their own. They do not slouch. That is why I don't have my oversized, my velvet um, Fendi first, which I love and I wanted it on display but it doesn't display well because of the fabric. It's not stiff enough to hold its own. I could stuff it, but it's not the same. So I decided to um, have that in the back end storage, which I'll share with you guys in a second. And then here we've got um, my Kelly, my Hermes Kelly, and then my um, Bulgari um, bag. I love this bag, both great display pieces. I originally wasn't gonna put shoes 
on the wall, but I love the way my Manolos complement the Kelly. And honestly, the only time I use these Manolos are for outfit hauls. They literally don't leave the house because they are the most uncomfortable, uncomfortable shoes. <laughs> Clearly, I really feel like they're uncomfortable. That Nigerian and me came out, they're very uncomfortable. They're horrible. They're horrible. Anyone who tells you otherwise, they lie. Unless they go up a size, and I don't have any sizes to go up to because this is a 42. And all my other Manolos and 42s are comfortable, except for these ones. They're horrible, but they look beautiful on the feet. <laughs> Anywho, on this side, I did a display of three. Um, you know, the, I think the there's there always has to be something that connects things when you're doing the display. Whether if it's that they're artsy pieces, metals, color, those are the things you want to use to create kind of like symmetry and keep the eye interested and to make sure it doesn't look cluttered or overwhelmed. So I fit, even though my Fendi baguette is not um, structured and it doesn't hold its own, I have it on a stand. Actually, I should bring you guys a little closer so you can see the stand. I have a um, the particular device that I use to hold things to keep it straight, but it's so hard to put together. So I'm just gonna put you on the stand. But if you guys can see, there is a step, it's clear. So the Fendi bag is on like um, a display step. It's a clear display step that I got from Amazon. I'll link it for you guys. So it's holding its own there. It's not slouching, you know, and I do have its duster in there too to make sure it's you know, holding up and it looks great and it looks amazing there. I love it against the little Fendi, um, Fendi, Fendi, Fendi and my Louis Vuitton Capucine. And then over here, we've got more of my artsy pieces. Um, I bought this little art piece from West Elm and I love it. And then we have my Louis Vuitton times, um, gosh, Yayo Kosomo. And then also we've got the heart bags and I let the heart bags just lay flat. So they really don't show, but I feel like the black adds a little bit of interest because you see the side of it. Um, so I like that. And then when I go up to go on top, which I'm gonna share what's on top with you guys, I get to see it there. So it's a fun little reminder for me. So here we have this fabulous bag. This is, um, is she Nigerian? I don't think she's Nigerian. Yes, she is. Um, Lara Allen. This was a bag that was gifted to me by the brand. I have money in there. Ooh. <laughs> money and a tampon. <laughs> so, you know, I use the bags. So this is a beautiful bag and I don't use it enough. But now that it's on display, I will make an effort to use it because it's such a beautiful piece. And then this Voss, I don't know where this is from. Oh, CB2. Um, I don't know why I said H&M because I'm like, I've never bought furniture from H&M. So CB2 and West Elm are usually my go-tos. And I think these pieces are somewhat affordable. I know this was like $50 or $40. So very affordable pieces. Another black owned brand, um, F&W Style. Shout out to my girl, Wumi. Oh my God, guys, I have such a really cool collaboration coming out with, with um, this brand. So stay tuned for that. But I love this bag. It's such a beautiful piece in this beautiful gold lame finish and the croc emboss. Such a great piece. And they both complement each other really well with the metals. And then my favorite section here is the pink section. Y'all know I'm a pink girl. If you don't know, I'm a pink girl. Um, so we've got a few books. Um, what? Oh, this is a more Dior lookbooks. This was gifted to me by the author who was with the same agency that I was with at the time. I love the color of it. And then Chanel sent over this um, ready to wear collection catalog that was really pretty. Uh, this was from 2022. Love the pink color. So I figured that would be a great base for my Chanel classic um, lambskin flap. That was my last, uh, <laughs> that was my last Chanel classic and it probably will be my last Chanel classic ever. So yeah, she gets a little display as well as one of my absolute favorite bags, which is my little um, um, Fendace micro baguette. So love that. And then my mock and mock shoes these are a newer addition for me but i love these they're so beautiful great conversation piece they've got the silver stones on the inside so yeah kept it simple there so now i'm going to show you guys what i did with the rest of the bags because i'm sure you guys are like wondering where are all her bags when when one of my girlfriends saw when we were talking she facetimed me and she saw the back and she's like, oh, what happened to my bag? She's like, did you sell all your bags? I'm like, no, I did not sell all my bags because me selling my bags means that I have to go out and buy new ones. And I'm not really ready to buy a whole new set of bags because the prices right now are outrageous. But I did just get a new bag. 
I'm gonna share that with you guys after. I hope this video is not too long, but I do want to share because I am gonna go to New York Fashion Week. I'm going to Fashion Week, so there are a few things. I just decided that I was going. I think a few days ago. I just booked my hotel a few days ago, so now I'm gonna buy my ticket tonight, um, and I'm gonna be there for a long, for quite a number of days, just because also I'm, there's a few things that I'm trying to work on, but. Um, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, I'm gonna share. <laughs> I did buy a new bag. I'll share a picture of the new bag. I'll share a picture of some of the new things that I got, where my mind is and how I'm preparing for fashion week this time around. Um, I really wanted this to be a get ready with me type video as I get ready for fashion week, but that's not gonna happen because I, I have to submit the clips for this video in two days and I still have, and it'll go live I th it'll go, when does it go live? Let me check my calendar. One moment, please. Yeah, so this will be going live on the second. Um, and it doesn't give me, so basically next week. And that gives me one more week before fashion week. So a lot of my stuff will probably be coming in right before then. But I think I have another video scheduled before that. So, but I'll, tr I'll, I'll do a New York fashion week vlog. So you'll get everything, you know, and then of course, if you guys are following me on social, on Instagram, on TikTok, you'll see me prepping for everything. So just make sure you follow along cause I'll pack with you guys and all that fun stuff. But anyway, let me show you guys my overflow. All right. So this is what I did with, um, some of my overflow. There's more on top there and I'll show you guys that too, but I got these shelves from Amazon and they're adjustable shelves because my closet, because this unit is custom, um, you know, I couldn't just buy like normal shelves. And, you know, my contractor was like, you know, if you want to make any changes, let me know, but I can't get a hold of him. I shared him with you guys and now I can't get a hold. He's too busy. <laughs> He's too busy for me. Anywho, so I got these adjustable shelves from Amazon. I'll link them. So here are, this is kind of where I put some of, you know, the overflow of bags. I can see everything. It's nice and easy. I have some of my baby girl's artwork there. Yeah. So the tall bags on top, bags inside of bags. And then, you know, the bags that I'm using right now or every day will go here. I have the bag that I'm using right now is out in, in the hallway, but I always have a slot for it. And, you know, nothing's being squished, which is like a big deal for me. Everything easy access. I wanted to make sure everything was easy access. And then here I used to have um, just equipment here. I decided to put more shoes in here. Um, I do have like one or two empty slots, so that's good. I can buy some more shoes. And then I'm just trying to get more organized. So I decided to utilize this, <laughs> this Fowler, um, and it's, it's an expanding file carrier. I used to use this when I started my business 11 years ago, and I haven't used it since. Like when I was going through it, I had receipts from 20, I think 2016 in there, still in there. So bad me. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to utilize this. Um, I don't use receipts as much anymore. I try to go electronic, but every now and then I have receipts. So I have them there. Um, it's funny. I was going to buy a new ring light, forgetting that I had one here. This one I got, actually got from Saks and it's adjustable and all that fun stuff. And then just more equipment stuff. My little, um, Dyson heater, uh, Clinique sent me this. This is like a tray for like writing and stuff. And then just a few other pieces of equipment. Also, I've got some more equipment here and I have like cleaning supplies, which you guys probably saw me take out there. Um, this is the other side for jewelry. So what I did on that side is I think I kept some of the pieces that I used the most there. Well, I'll go to that side in a second. So let's just focus on this. Cause I don't even remember what I did there. Um, I don't have a lot of extra earrings for this side, so I kept most of them there, but I figured this will be the side for statement earrings and statement pieces. So I have, I am trying to do, make it color, you know, uh, arrange everything by color. So when I'm looking for white earrings, they're there, gold, um, beige, greenish and blue, silvers, pinks, um, my Dior earring, my Dior um, tribal studs. Uh, this one was kind of like miscellaneous, multicolored, or this one has like black on the, you know, on the side. And then watches. I put my watches here, at least some of them here, because I don't, I don't open this side often. So I figured if I have things that I use every day, it will force me to come to this side, utilize the pieces here and be, and you know, 
make sure that I'm using the pieces here. That way I'm not buying more and I'm not duplicating. So I would say if, as you arrange your jewelry, make sure you mix the things you use all the time with the things you don't use all the time. Because if you don't do that, you'll find yourself buying things that you have already. But when you're utilizing things that you use every day, you see what you have, you can take a mental inventory of it. So that's working for me. So belts are here. I, this is something that actually, this has always been like this. So I have a few of my belts here. The bigger belts are hanging, um, or actually they're in a, a closet, but I got this unit from um, Amazon. Another thing that I got that just helps me because my space is custom. Um, so this just helps me stay organized and see all the belts that I have, or at least some of them. And then here, if you were wondering where my perfumes went, <laughs> they're here. Um, so yeah, uh, I have my perfumes here. I try to keep everything nice and organized. I have some other fragrances upstairs in my washroom as well, but I figured, you know what, I'll keep a few here. Um, utilize the tray, utilize the side. I have a lot more space left. I know a few brands are sending me some stuff, so it's always good to be realistic. Um, and create space and not just create space for what you have. Um, or if you do create spaces just for what you have, has something new comes in, take out the old, take something else out. But it's fragrances, right? I don't want to throw anything away. So I wanted to make sure there was space left to, you know, fill in more pieces. I also have a brush here whenever I'm doing hauls or stuff and I need to brush my hair. Some powder as well if I need to, you know, utilize powder. I wanted to put this on display, but... It didn't, it's just, I felt like, no, it's gonna just look like clutter. And then these fragrances were a little bigger and taller. So I have them on the uh, on these clear cases that I also got from Amazon. I'll link everything for you guys. Then I arranged my lipsticks according to like darker hues. So these are like my purples, my beiges, pinks, reds, and then lip glosses, and then some new in pieces that I haven't used yet. So yeah, really organized and happy with that. And here we have more equipment stuff and then, you know, miscellaneous or office supply things, things that I will use. Ignore my um, uh, uh, microphone thingy. But yeah, so have um, extra pencils, extra, just extra supplies in here. And then some equipment, charging stuff, batteries and all that fun stuff. Okay, over here, shoes. I'm so proud. If you had seen what was it here before with shoes, guys, you would laugh at me. It was so bad. I just had shoes piled on each other. So I decided to go in and out with them. Um, and they fit. A lot of the shoes fit in there. I have some boots in here. And then I also put some socks and stuff in that little case there because there was a little bit of space. And then here, same thing with some of the shoes. I got a riser from Amazon so I could put more shoes inside of there. So it's very helpful. And notice how I have one shoe forward, one shoe going backwards. This way you can add more items to um, um, on the shelf. This was the only pullout drawer that he did for me and I wish he did more. Originally I planned on putting other things in here but it's shoes now. So I figured I put all the, the platforms that I have here because they're taller and they work better in there. And then this is what I did on this side. I really love this side. This is probably the side that I use the most. We've got brooches, bracelets, um, rings, earrings. Um, I'm wearing some jewelry right now, so it'll probably go in here. And then also I ordered quite a few new pieces. So they'll probably go here. Um, these are some of my um, dainty pieces. I have more of my jewelry upstairs as well. So yeah, just a few pieces there. And then here, I think I showed you guys this um, before, the bigger pearls and the bigger necklaces. This tray is old from when I used to work for Reed Krakoff. When the brand closed up, they basically got rid of all the, the, the display pieces. So I took a few pieces. And this gunmetal piece is a great piece. These things are so freaking expensive. <laughs> it's like shocking to me. So I refuse to get rid of them. So now I'm utilizing them and I'm happy. This um, felt insert was for one of these things. And I just use it as a base um, for the drawer. I have some cleaning supplies here, some cuffs. These are old Rekoff re cuffs. So you probably won't be able to get them anywhere. Valentino. And then... Um, Sunglass overflow. These are probably the glasses I use the most. It would be nice to have those really cute sunglass display cases, but you can't fit as many glasses and I need to fit as much as possible. So laying them out this way, just getting like a felt insert 
or a nice base where jewelry or glasses can sit on is just as sufficient and you can actually get more in there that way. And here we are with more of the glasses. Um, I did get rid of quite a few, but this is kind of what I'm working with right now. I still want to sell some of them. I probably will sell some of my Loewe glasses and just some of the glasses here. I just, I started giving glasses away to my friends when they came over because I think they were just too many. But now it's, you know, it feels a little bit better. I still kept some of the cases. I try, I tried to get rid of as many cases as possible. And then here we just have a drawer for giveaway stuff. So yeah, that's some Dior stuff, Fendi stuff. There are things that I'm giving away to my audience. Got to utilize everything in this space. So I used um, my ladder, even though I use the ladder and you'll see me on the ladder, but I also use the ladder has a display unit for my um, silk scarves. I love to collect scarves. So the, the, here are some of the scarves that I have, the Dior, Chanel, Hermes, Hermes and Dior. So just a few of my scarves here and I love them. And then here, um, just hanging items. So things that I just got in, some of my shorter coats are here as well. Things that I use quite often. And then my rolling rack, my trusty rolling rack. This is old. This is very old from Wayfair. I don't believe they have it anymore. I, I got this rolling rack when we bought the house. So I've had it for a long time um, and I love it. And then what I did here, I kept my Hermes blanket, but opened it up a little bit. I picked up these amazing pillows from West Elm. I really love them because they came in different colors and I wanted to add interest without anything being overly colorful. So I got those pillows. The chairs, if I'm correct, are also from West Elm and I really love them. Uh, Brand sent this painting to me. I think it's supposed to be me, <laughs> but I really loved it and I thought it was cute. And another brand sent me this and you know, it has a, a black girl's lips, nice full lips. So I figured it's, it's a fun little display piece and it looks good with this um, um, Voss. And then this is a fake plant. I think I got that from, I don't even know, maybe H&M or one of those places. My trusty garbage can from CB2, I love it. I'm getting ready to do my mood board. So I have that there. So my mood board is there. And then over here on display, I have my, um, what's the name of this brand? Oh my God. Shame on me. <laughs> Steep Streamline. Yes. The brand gifted me the luggage and I thought it was such a great display piece. So I made this part of the office a little more open. So I figured, you know, what? let me just keep it on display there and it looks good there. And then my little desk. Um, just, you know, have, it's all, it's pretty much the same with the desk. I just bought this thingy. So when I'm doing lives, I don't have to hold my phone, which is really cool. I can link that as well. I think that was from Amazon. Some of my, my stands, my trusty light, which is everything. I decided to put my degree on display. I have a bachelor of arts with honors, um, in sociology and mass communication. So I was like, you know what? Let me remind myself that I'm a bad bitch <laughs> and just have it on display there. So, yeah, because I don't know why I just kept it away for so long. And then I still have over here. If you're new here, these are my first magazine features. So this is when I started um, features from InStyle, from um, People Style Watch. I don't even think InStyle is a magazine anymore. But yeah, so I just have that there as a reminder of how far I've come. And a lot more organization. Like this is probably what I'm most proud of because these drawers were a mess before. Utilized all these clear, you know, um, cases from Amazon, my box cutter for products, um, things that I use every day, my glass cleaners, the remotes. Oh, I forgot to mention, guys, look at this. How cool. I put lights. <laughs> I put lights under the bag. So it's like a great display piece. I'll, I'll try and um, put it on when there's... Um, and turn the lights off. But yeah, there's lights there. <laughs> there's lights there. Trust me, there's light there. Anywho, yeah, just things that I use every day and I really wanted to make them very accessible. So just my writing pads, my glasses, um, my vitamins, just in case I forget to use them upstairs. Um, and I can see everything. So I think the key is to just be very realistic I've sat in this space for three years now and I understand how I utilize the space. So I just had to have a come to Jesus moment with myself and be honest about how I use the space and what I want to do with it. And then I just have more equipment here. 
um, yeah. So I really love the way the space is. I've been using it for a couple of days now and it just feels good. I feel so creative. I still feel very motivated when I'm in the space now. Um, I also did this little thing where I hide my little, <laughs> I hide my little brush or my cleaning thingy. I don't think you guys could see it, but I hide that, um, behind the mirror. So when I do my outfit of the days, you know, it's not all blurry. And then of course, for, if you're not, if you're new, I've had the CB2 lamp here since I bought, um, since we bought the house. And then this is another Jonathan Adler piece. Um, it's a mug, but I'm just utilizing it for pencils and pens and, and then powder, things I just need quick access to. And then Facebook gifted this to me, which is so cool. You know, I can make um, WhatsApp calls and a whole bunch of stuff there. So it's really fun. But yes, this is the space so far. I'm gonna show you guys what I did in my outside closet. Um, just kind of what I did with my, oh, I forgot. I need to show you guys what I did on top because that is like, that is probably the number one thing that I did that I'm proud of myself for doing because I found that originally I, up there, I had just empty boxes, a ton of empty or mess boxes. Chanel, but I was just like shoe boxes. I'm like, what am I doing? Why am I keeping all these boxes? So I took everything out and I put things that I use regularly up there so that way I'm utilizing all the space number one and it's forcing me to go up there and get a, take a, like a mental note of what I have. So I know we want ease and we want easy access to things, but sometimes, you know, when we make the things that we use every day easily accessible, we forget about the other things that are in our closet and then we end up buying duplicates and then we end up getting overwhelmed by our wardrobes and what we have. So hopefully this will be a good indicator for you guys to kind of like shift things around a little bit, like have a real a realistic idea of how you use your space and then work with it that way. So I'm just gonna open those up real quick, show you guys what's there, show you the other closet, and then I'll tell you guys about New York Fashion Week and then we'll end the video. So I hope you guys can see that. We've got boots in here. So I've got my Kate boots. Um, I have my Stella boots. I've got a lot of boots that I wear a lot here. And then here I have loafers and some seasonal shoes. I'm probably gonna have to get bring you guys up here. I'll open everything first, and on that side are the bags. So this, this is where the rest of my bags are. So like I said, the goal was to utilize everything. I'm gonna get that bloody tripod and then give you guys a zoom and then, I'm, oh, <laughs> then we're done with this. And notice how I still have everything on display. It's all nice and neat. I get to see what's there. It's not overly cluttered. And that's really what I was going for, to create a space where everything is easily accessible and I can see what I have. So that's just where the rest of the bags are. And I think I need to kind of space them in a little bit more so I can add more bags there. Okay, so this is my little, my secondary office closet. There's no light in here. So I bought more shoe containers from the container store. I would not recommend buying any from Amazon. They are horrible and very difficult to put together. So I bought more of these and they're full already. I need to put my um, shoes that I wore today back there. Um, yeah, and that's just a bag. Um, a pair of boots that I got from Saks that I haven't worn, but I'm gonna wear them for fashion week. I have a little calendar here, just kind of like reminders, quick reminders. So when I go to get my shoes every day, I have fun little reminders of what to do. I have more empty shoe boxes, um, shoe case boxes there, so I can put <laughs> new shoes when they come. So these are the hangers that I use when I'm, you know, doing hauls or talking about garments. Um, these are strictly for my office. In my closet upstairs, I use um, thick black velvet hangers because they're better for your clothing. But you know, when new products come, um, they use these hangers first, and then once I've shot them or created any kind of content that I need to create, I transfer, I change the hangers out and then I take them upstairs or I give them away or whatnot. But um, just, I utilize a lot of these clear drawers to just put random stuff like boob tape and, you know, earphones and shoe, you know, shoe fillers and stuff like that. Just random things that I use. I do have a pair of my Prada boots. These boots are like 20 years old. I swear to God, Prada is the gift that just, it's worth every penny. Expensive as hell, but they last forever. So more miscellaneous stuff, 
oh gosh, you guys can't see it gets darker, but up there in the same kind of clear box like that, we have hats there. I have some of my big drop bags in that um, Hermes box there. So there's a lot of big bags that I use for photo shoots and whatnot, and I just dump stuff in there. Then I've got big um, belts in there. Oh my God, this is full of um, dust bags. So it's legit full to the brim with dust bags. And I have more dust bags. This was from the West Elm stuff that I got. I need to put that in the garage. But that bag there is full of more um, dust bags. And then that's just a robe whenever I'm changing and I need to run upstairs. I also left a little bit of space for long coats that I use every day. I still have another closet upstairs that's full of coats, but these are the coats that I use the most right now. And I wanted them here. So just so I can have easy access on days where I just need to grab and go. And then this was something that I bought that I'm very happy that I got. It's another shoe rack. This I got from Amazon, very easy to put together. And I have some of my tall boots on display there. I have some more tall boots in um, a storage unit on the side. Um, but yeah, I figured these ones, I can have them here. I can see them easily accessible. I think I'm going to take the rest of my boots that are in um, one of my storage units and just put them here so that way I can see them. So I have my Givenchy boots under the coats there and then I have a pair of um, Tory Burch rain boots there as well. But yeah, I'm happy that I utilized this space really well. You know, considering I had probably one pair or two pairs of sneakers just a year and a half ago. Um, and, and they were like design, I had like a pair of Chanel sneakers. I had a pair of Dior sneakers and then maybe one or two from other brands. And now all of a sudden <laughs> I have all these sneakers here and more to come. But yes, this is, this is what I did and I'm very proud of it. Okay. So that's it for getting organized. Let me just close these. This rack is super old. I got it when I used to work for Reed Krakoff. <laughs> so I don't think you can buy these, but I'm sure um, Amazon sells something like, Amazon seems to sell everything. But this is really cool because it helps me open up the top drawers and it helps me close them easy. So I don't have to always go on the, the ladder. But I wanted to show some new and items to you guys real quick. Um, oh God, see, I, I love this sweater, but I hate what it's doing. If you guys see my coat, look at what this thing just did to my coat. Look at my coat. Like, what the hell? I vacuumed the, the drawers and they're now all full of lint again from this bloody sweater. It is the coziest, most comfortable, so warm, looks great, but it leaves lint everywhere, including the shirt. Look at that. Anywho, doing a really fun collaboration with Michael Kors. And I picked this outfit. I'm gonna have it pop up because I'm so tired, guys. I cannot try anything on right now. Okay, so I was going for, I was going for that mob wife look, like rich, bad B, but very chic kind of look. The brand didn't want me to use the mob wife aesthetic thingy, so it's just the imagery when you see it on Instagram. But that was kind of what I was going for, and I really love the look. I think I'll just post the reel has my own content. Um, but yeah, that's what I was going for, but I love it. It's a great Valentine's day option. And of course I will link it for you guys. Cause I know not everyone is on Instagram. Um, most of my collaborations are still on Instagram and I'm so grateful that Michael Kors continues to come back cause they've got great pieces. Like it's so funny. I was out today and the jacket I was wearing was from Banana Republic and Carrie, who is the owner of the, of the perfume store that I took you guys along with me, you know, she was like, we're still, we're shopping for Banana Republic. So I'm like, yes, they've got good stuff. There's so many stores that have so many great things. And for me, I get to discover that through partnerships. So I'm so grateful for my partnerships. I'm so grateful for the brands that I continue to work with. So anywho, love that red look. It is great, but it's not only great for Valentine's day. It's also great outside of Valentine's day. So you guys see it. If you need to shop, if you want to shop, if you need a great red blazer, cause it's the perfect shade of red. If you need a great bangy, do you guys see what this dress does to my body? If you need a great piece, this is for you. And then the bag, oh, I forgot I got a new bag. <laughs> so that means I have two new bags. So I'm not sure if I'm going to take this one with me to fashion week because I don't have any red outfits so far. I've just started listing outfits. I'm not trying to do the most there. I'm not trying to kill myself. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to do photo shoots there, but I know that the outfits 
have to be killer, period. Like, even if I have to go walk to a coffee store, <laughs> the outfits will be fire. So, but yes, I got this new bag. It's so good. And it's, the prices are so good. Like, so good. Um, this bag comes in a lot of different colors. I intend to wear it has a crossbody. I intend to wear it has a top handle. So this way, kind of the crossbody look. But I mean, like, how cute. How cute. It, com <gasps> it comes in a beautiful baby blue, similar to my blue Chanel. Um, I think it's a little darker or lighter than my um, Bulgari bag, but it comes in blue, it comes in gold, it comes in white. It comes in so many colors. I'm here for it. Like, it's so cute. Yay. <laughs> Anywho, um, I figured, let me actually, I'm going to get you guys a little lower so we can sit down and chit chat because I'm tired of standing up. Okay, so that's better. And yes, I still have the bag on. <laughs> I'm getting comfortable with it. It's still new for me. I haven't worn it out. I've only worn it for the collaboration, but I'm going to wear it out. But anywho, what I bought, I did buy some stuff. Um, but I gave myself a budget because last year, last February Fashion Week, I spent so much money. <laughs> my accountant was like, my accountant's Ghanaian. She's not Nigerian, but she's Ghanaian. She was like, ah, what did you? <laughs> she was like, why? <laughs> and I was really feeling myself. I was just like, mm. Um, but I know that I didn't want to spend that kind of money this time around just because I have so many things lined up this year, things that I want to invest in, things that I want to produce and create and share with you guys. And I know that's gonna cost me a lot of money. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna do the bare minimum. And I've actually given myself the, the I wouldn't say, the, is it a task? Kind of a task to see if I can actually like do fashion week creating outfits from items I have already and not going all out, not having this urge to go and buy things I don't need. Cause I do this all the time. Every time fashion week comes around, I forget all the new stuff that's in my closet already. All the things brands have sent me, all the things that I got on sale, all the things that I got throughout the, I forget all of that. I forget that I usually wear most of my clothes only for hauls. That's why I'm so happy to like, just in the last, I would say the last three months of 2023, I decided that I was really gonna just start wearing my clothes and be creative. So, you know, of course I infused a lot of new things cause I am, this is my job. My job is to, you know, buy things, share with you guys, critique, suggest, all of that fun stuff. And I fall in love, like I pick things that I, legit 100% love. So I fall in love with what I suggest to you guys. So even the things that God knows I have no business keeping, I keep. So I was like, okay, how can I use some of the stuff that I got already? And that's what I'm doing. So I just started putting outfits together and just putting it in a spreadsheet. So I don't even know which events I'm going to wear them to, if I'm going to wear them at all. But I figured, you know what, let me just start thinking about what's in my closet and creating looks. And one of my girlfriends was on the phone with me. She's kind of like, oh, what about that thing? Or you got that? Or she's like, oh, those Michael Kors pants you got or this. And I'm like, you're right. So that's the challenge. Um, I did buy a few accessories because, you know, I'm an accessory queen and I got to have new accessories, at least one. At least one. So I did buy a Bottega bag. It's not here yet, but I'm going to insert a picture. I don't think this was on my wish list. I, no, I shared it on Instagram. Guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, you are missing out. But I did share the gray option on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the gray option. I ended up going with the chocolate option because I have been desperately looking for a chocolate bag. I don't have a gray bag, but I figured, you know what? If anything, I can get the bigger option or something similar when I go to Paris. A goal of mine this year is to go to Paris, not for fashion week, but to go to Paris and Milan to just experience it. Um, and experience, actually I was, I'm going to probably more than likely it's the trip will be with TT, my girlfriend, TT from TT's passion, who is a travel content creator. Finally, after me telling her for years, guys, I've been telling her this for years, she's finally going to start doing curating trips for people. So you guys will have the option of buying into like her trip packages and all of that stuff. So I'm very excited for her because the best trips I've had in my life, in my life, and I've been to some good places and brands have wined and dined me and taken me to a lot of nice places. However, the best trips that I've been on are with her. And she curated everything. And as a proper Nigerian woman, let me tell you something about me. One thing about me, I don't like stress. 
I like to travel in a way where everything is just lined up. I don't want, I don't want to do anything. And she just does all of that. Like when we went to M Morocco, like from, I think it was from the, from the plane or I, we, we just, we were ushered out. Like they were there with a sign with our names and um, what's it called? Going through customs was a breeze going through like everything. The car was waiting for us. Like we had a butler. It was, and it wasn't terribly expensive. That's the thing. It was less than the cost of a bag, like legit. And would I take a luxury trip like that where I'm wined and dined and spoiled over a bag? And I love bags and I'm gonna take that luxury trip all day, every day. And we also did Paris. The Paris trip was so, like the, the hotel was, they were, everybody was just so nice. She picked all the right places. They had, cause all of us, like there were four of us and we were all influencers. They had our pictures, you know, like they just knew about all of us and they were just so kind. Everybody was, it was just the best trip, the best trip. Same thing when we went to Mexico, same idea. Like the reception was amazing. There was someone waiting for us with um, a luxury van. Like, anywho, enough about her, but don't worry, I'll keep you guys posted because she, she says she's gonna start doing YouTube more, but um, I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. She says she recorded stuff, so hopefully she, uh, I will remind her to keep on doing that, but I really would love where, once she starts with that, I'm gonna let you guys know because if you're like me, you love to travel. And I told her, I said, at least for the first trips, I will be an honorary hostess. So you, you, I'll be there, we'll all do the trip together. And cause y'all know I love to talk, I'll talk your ears off. <laughs> so I think it'll be fun. Anywho, back to New York Fashion Week. Um, yeah, so I got a Bottega bag. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take this red bag. I don't have any outfits planned for it, but to match the bag, even though I know we don't necessarily have to match everything, but I always like when there are things that pull an outfit together. So I got these um, Paris, is it Paris, Texas? or Texas pair, I don't know. I got these boots in the chocolate brown. They haven't come in yet as well because I think I just ordered everything at once. And then I got this beautiful crystal choker from Swarovski, absolutely stunning. I can't wait to style it. You guys know I'm in my you know, avant-garde jewelry piece era right now and I'm having so much fun with it, especially now that quiet luxury is such a big trend. I think it's so important to for your personality to shine through your fashion with your accessories. So I'm gonna link a few pieces. There is a necklace that I got that's here and I'm gonna open that and show you guys before I end the video. Um, what else did I get? So I got that, I can't remember. Did I get, I feel like I got some other things. I know I got some other things. I'm trying to be good, but now I'm looking at some coats. I was supposed to do like a whole coat haul for you guys in this video, but I have a feeling this video is gonna to be too long as is. So I'll, I'll save the coats for shorts. So stay tuned for that short video. Um, but I was, I was browsing through um, Revolve and guys, they have coats for like $300, $200. I was like, hey, I said, why have I? <laughs> and they look good, mind you, I haven't ordered any yet. So I don't know how good they are in, in real life. But I can tell you that all the pieces that I've ordered from Revolve look great. So I was just so confused, like, <sighs> I, sometimes I confuse myself. And I think it's because I've worked luxury so long. So I'm just addicted to luxury, period. But I'm like, yo, these coats look great. And they're $300, they're $400, they're $200. Meanwhile, I'm going crazy thinking that if it's not a 1500, if it's not 2000, it's not a good coat. So yeah, I really need to, <laughs> I really need to analyze my shopping habits this year. <laughs> Let me know if you're on the same boat. So yeah, I, I was gonna do like a whole display. You know, I'll insert a few that I found that I really think I need to add to cart and buy and just go over them. And maybe I can add that because I wanted to do a part two of the trend report. So maybe I might just insert some of them in the trend report, but like, this gray one, I found that one on Revolve. It was stunning. I found this full length purple one. I was just like, and full length coats, maxi coats are having a moment. Like you can legit wear a simple basic t-shirt, a pair of jeans, but once you throw that great coat, oh, it just transforms the look. And in a sense, that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. Even for fashion week, I don't want to do a lot. I want to be very clean classic, but then hit them with the accessories, hit them with the coats and hit them with the fabulous pair of shoes or running shoes or sneakers rather. So that is my vibe for fashion week.
that might change, but I highly doubt it because I I've, I've feel like I'm very much set in how I want to dress for 2024. And it is very chic, very elevated, but almost there's a touch of simple. So I'm really going to be borrowing a lot of quiet luxury elements. So a lot of the dress shirts, a lot of the clean classic pieces, but I'm going to give them style twist with my accessories. So stay tuned for all of that. And of course, I will share all my New York Fashion Week fashion with you guys. I will share all the looks in an OOTD video as well as the New York Fashion Week vlog. But yes, let me open that box, share the necklace with you guys, and then we're going to end the video. Okay, so I got this from my Teresa and I just remembered, I just realized that I did order more stuff. I ordered the most beautiful leather jacket from Simkai. I think I got it. Was it My Teresa? I got it from My Teresa. I've been doing a lot of orders from My Teresa. I'm, I'll insert the picture of the jacket. I definitely want to wear the jacket to Fashion Week. I have, it comes with a matching skirt. I'll insert that as well. Um, and I contemplated getting the skirt, but I was like, that would be too basic and that would be too predictable. I love creating outfits that are not predictable, outfits that the average person, not even, even beyond the average person, most people wouldn't think about putting together. So that's kind of what I want to do for Fashion Week. So the necklace is blue marine. Um, and I thought the price point was really good. It's, it was $400, they're pearls, and it's just so pretty. <gasps> Isn't it pretty? So more pearls, yes, I know I'm like in my pearl era, but like it's got the little like flower thingy, the rosette thing on it. See, isn't that cute? <gasps> it's so cute, oh my gosh, guys. <gasps> I'm gonna style this so many different ways. You've got the little B for the blue marine thingy on it with the clasp. And if I'm correct, these are real pearls. So it better be for $400, but in this day and age, you know, these brands, they're crazy. They will mark up, they'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll put $1,000 on plastic, <laughs> as we've seen so many brands do over and over again. But yes, I'm very happy with this. I love, I love this. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And yeah, I'm very happy. I think I got it on sale. I love uh, that was the part that I really liked because you know we're seeing more of these um floral details with fabric and that's a big trend right now so this is a great piece it's something that I'll use for fashion week so yes I'm very happy with it yay all right guys um that was the vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys will follow along um during fashion week um it's gonna be fun um, I think I'm going to, I know I'm going to be having a new episode of style for success coming up. It's going to be super fun. And then there should be another vlog, which will be the New York fashion week. And then also we will have a OOTD video as well, if I'm correct this month for February, but yeah, very excited to share everything. Thank you so much for watching the whole video because it was a good video and you watched the whole video, right? You watched the whole video. Even if you have to watch it in little segments, just watch the whole video. I'm going to, I'm going to try and start putting timestamps if I can remember and if I have enough time the goal is to put timestamps so you guys know when you know different segments of the video but thank you so much for watching if you guys haven't subscribed yet go and subscribe hit that notification bell that way you never miss a video especially if you're new and you love my vibe because you know we're a vibe here we have fun with fashion and life and we keep it real one thing about me I'm gonna keep it real there's no need for me to front I am in this big age of mine I don't front I don't do all those things so if you like the vibe if you love fashion just go ahead and subscribe hit that notification bell that way you never miss a video this is when I know I've talked too much <laughs> and the video needs to end battery died my throat started hurting me anywho if you like my vibe, guys, just go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We have fun here. It's a good time. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's Odd by Monty on Instagram. Odd by Monty on TikTok. Check out my website, oddbymonica.com. Check out my Amazon storefront, especially for all you dupe lovers. So I have someone who helps me with my Amazon storefront. So we kind of tag team it. And she found the dupe of my Bottega bag. She wants me to buy it so I can do a comparison and maybe do a new episode of, um, of breaking down the bag, which I haven't done in a minute. So let me know if you guys want to see that. I, when it comes to certain brands, if you've been following me long enough, you know that I'm just, I am, like I said, I'm addicted to luxury. So it's hard for me with dupes, even though a lot of times I wish I bought the dupe, but it's just, it's hard for me because I spent all of my retail career kind of against the idea of dupes, but I get it. Cause now I feel like I feel, yes, I'll say I feel stupid every now and then when I spend a lot of money on certain things and I don't wear them and they just go to waste. And, um, I did do the, 
<laughs> items I wish I dupe. So that's kind of what the next dress like a boss will be or style for success. We're gonna talk about items that we wish we duped. So we're gonna talk about why or things that you could dupe or things that you probably shouldn't. So it's, it'll really be fun. But anywho, I digress because I really don't know where I was going with that. But thank you so much for watching, guys. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, check out my website, albaymonica.com, subscribe to the channel. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.